I'm cutting the notches in the shelves so that they fit in the cabinets like they're supposed to. And uh, I'll spare you all the details, but uh, there are a lot of precision cuts, so it takes a while to do it, but it's getting done. I have four done already. I need to do two more, then send them to my father-in-law for uh, finishing. I just finished my last shelf, so they're ready to go to my father-in-law for finishing. I like old-fashioned wood storm windows, and Janelle likes uh, to be able to wash them easier. And that's the one problem with the old-fashioned wood storms, is they're a little harder to wash. So I'm going to put a new twist on an old window. I'm going to make an old-fashioned looking wood window, but it's also going to have uh, a modern convenience built into it. Here are the boards I'm going to need, and that should be enough wood to do it. For windows, I like to use a select pine. It's really good wood. It's nice and straight. If you take a look there, you can't get much straighter than that for a board. And it's just really easy to work with. At the end of the board, I wrote the numbers. This board is actually going to turn into three different boards, number 1, 8, and 10. The wood is fairly expensive, though, so I like to try to conserve as much wood as I can. So before I do a project, I go through, I measure everything to try to make sure I get as much use and as little waste as I can out of each board. They say when you're doing a project you should measure twice and cut once. Uh, I found a way that works just a little bit better than that, for me at least. Uh, you take the tape measure, you lay it right on on your board, then you put the blade down. You be careful not to have your finger over the trigger or you might uh, end up with a cut tape measure. You, you just line it up exactly where it needs to be and just remove the tape measure and then you cut. The bottom of windows are at an 8 degree slant so I have to change the angle on my saw. Uh, okay, there it is, 8 degrees. To make things a little more complicated, the windows add a little bit of a slant. So what I did is I put a board on top of this and I put it at a little bit of a slant, same slant as the window is that I have to fit it to. So I'm going to run it through the saw that way. What we got yesterday from my parents. These are three of the six shelves for my cabinets and I'm so excited I'm going to stick them in my cabinets and start filling them up. This cabinet is the one that I'm most excited about getting a shelf for because this had all my plastic dishes in it and it always looked like this. It always toppled and there was no neat way to keep them in here. And I'm hoping with a shelf that's going to change things and I'm not going to have the avalanche because this is the avalanche effect. There's a plastic container here and then it falls all the way down here and it's just it's not conducive to keeping the kitchen clean. So I'm going to go stick my new shelf in there. A couple days ago I got my boards cut. I, I notched them and you'll see why I did that in a little while. The next step is to make some tenons. And to do that I have a mortise and tenon jig. Mortise and tenon joints are good for storm windows because they're nice and strong and they hold up quite well and storm windows need to be pretty strong. The dig hooks up to the drill press and this is kind of cool because it uh, it drills square holes. And there it is, all set up. It's a tenon jig, and the way this works is you just put the wood in there. I ran the piece of wood through the jig, and I'm going to take off this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this is the one that stays right here. Now what I'm left with is the tenon. I just have to clean it up with a chisel a little bit. The tenons are all cut, so now I have to mark the mortises. And you can just do that with the other board. You just line it up. And then you mark it. I use a razor. You can use a pencil, but a razor usually seems to be more precise. Now I'm going to do the mortise part of the job. I'm going to cut a series of square holes with this tool here. There is one of the holes. I'm going to drill a few more and then I'm going to have my rectangular mortise.
I got the hole all cut out and it's ready to receive the tenon. So push that together and one joint is ready. My father-in-law just brought the last of the three shelves and we're going to go put them in right now. This is exciting. All the work pays off. Putting in the shelves. One more to go. The last one. There it goes. All done. We have a lot of shelf space now. I'm getting my fourth check for Snail's Pace Challenge 2. Install shelves and kitchen cupboards. Let's see, we're, we're 24 days in and I have four checks down, 80 to go. All the wood is cut, now all I need to do is put it together like a bunch of Lincoln logs. There it is, phase one of the window is complete. I'm done with phase one of the window, which was the old fashioned part, and now I'm going to try the modern part, which involves turning these boards into inserts that go into the window that I just made. I'm going to install this router bit in the router table. After I run the boards through the router, they look like this. Oh, I'm, my window is coming along. Uh, I went to the hardware store to buy some glass, uh, but they didn't cut it in shapes that weren't uh, 90 degree angles, so I have to cut one piece of glass myself, but I can do that. You gotta line it up. Get your glass cutter. A lot of people don't like doing this job. They they find it freaky the noise it makes when you cut glass. But I actually think it's kind of fun. It's just not something you do every day. I'm just going to line it up to the edge of the table. Just give it a little like that. There you go. The glass is cut. The piece of glass fits like it's supposed to. I usually try not to buy glass at the hardware store because it's pretty expensive, but uh, this time I didn't have any that was the right size. What I try to do is uh, pick up glass when I see it by the side of the road. A lot of people get rid of windows, so uh, usually there's plenty of glass out there, but I've used a lot of glass, so I've used up my large pieces of glass. The storm window is done, other than I just need to put in the hardware and then install it, so I'm excited. Remember I told you that it was an old storm window with a modern twist? And I'm going to show you about that right now. What I did is I made inserts for the windows, slip right in, and that way it'll be easy to take out and launch. Window. The window is ready to install. I just went outside. I'm going to go hang up the little clips to put it in. And guess what? It just started raining or sleeting or whatever it's doing, but I'm going to go out and do it anyway. I waited so long to do this, I'm just going to do it and I'll get wet, but that's okay. The window is installed. I got my fifth check replace bathroom window. Five down, 79 to go.